So I'm using dating apps ever since I've been back in the States. And I don't think I'm ready to date someone new. But I actually went on a date recently for the first time in like forever. And it was not very good. <laughs> I think, okay, part of the reason why it wasn't great was because like I wasn't too attracted to the person already just off rip. But I was like, you know what? Maybe I should try to keep an open mind and maybe it'll be like a good experience or whatever. And we'll just, you know, see what happens. But then I went on the date and then I was right. And then, you know, I mean, I'm sure they're a nice person. I felt kind of bad because I kept hinting at like, you know, wanting to meet again or wanting to see each other or finding opportunities to, you know, meet up again and i felt kind of back in my head i was like yeah i know i mean i'll pay for the food because i feel like i kind of led them on a little bit i realized in that moment that i had never been on a dinner date before a first date dinner date was never a thing that i've ever done before in my fucking life and i realized that i've never done that before because i go on so little fucking dates i go on so little dates it's actually unreal when i thought about it i actually took a minute to think about it. i was like how many first dates have i actually been on and it's like less than 10. I don't think it's less than five, but it's definitely less than 10, which is just absolutely unreal. Like, I remember being on that date and thinking, wow, I have no idea what to talk about. And I don't know what to talk about on dates. What the fuck is there to talk about? I know for a fact that if I'm actually genuinely interested in a person, the questions come naturally or the jokes come naturally. But then if it's somebody that I actually have just like zero interest in, like, first off, why the fuck did I throw myself into that situation? Second of all, like, even if I'm finding myself in those situations i should at least know what to talk about or at least have like an idea as to like hey like if the conversation dies um you know ask this or ask that or you know try to figure some common ground to talk about something you know but i feel like i suck at that shit because as soon as i'm there in person my mind goes fucking blank i don't know anything i don't know i lose all social skills not like i had a lot to begin with but i lose everything immediately my mind goes fucking blank and it's so bad and i feel so i think that's part of the reason why i don't like going on dates very much i mean i do like if i actually know that i like the person but if i don't actually like the person it's so awkward and I feel so bad. It's, I used to have a coffee dates only for the first date sort of rule. I used to do that only. So I think that actually might be the reason why now that I think about it. Like why I've never been on like a dinner date on the first date. Because you know, dude, we went on a dinner date and the bill for the dinner was like 120 or something like that. And I was like, man, this is an expensive, I don't want to do this again experience. Like, I mean, sure. Like, I guess I learned something. Like, don't go on a date unless I'm like genuinely interested in a person. But like coffee dates only for now on man like coffee dates are so nice because it's like you could leave so fast and you you learn so much about a person so quickly at a coffee shop compared to like anything else movie dates suck i don't understand how people go on movie dates for the first date i feel like that's some middle school shit it's dumb as fuck you don't get to talk to them at all you don't learn anything about them at all sure you have something to talk about after the movie but then what if during the movie you're already like damn bro i don't want to talk to this bitch but i guess you at least got to see a movie okay low-key movie dates i think are slept on now that i'm thinking about it they're like low-key slept on because you get to go see a movie you immediately have something to talk about after the movie which is the movie and then during the movie if you knew immediately you didn't want to be with them or hang out with them afterwards just fucking dip go home hey sorry uh my cat is fucking dying i have to go home um great movie though xtv and then just get the fuck out low-key not even bad especially if there's a movie that you've been trying to watch not a bad option now that i'm thinking about it it sounds awful because it takes so much time but at the very least you get to watch a movie that you probably wouldn't have gone to watch anyway so at least you got to watch it with somebody you know but anyways and then the coffee dates are also nice because i think coffee dates are the most time efficient it's also cost efficient as fuck but and you get to learn so much about them by the way they just treat situations for example like coffee shops are almost always busy almost always never a place to sit at right so like if you go to a coffee shop and then Turns out, oh fuck, there's nowhere to sit. Uh, should we take this? And it's like, maybe it's cold outside, you know? What do you do? How do you improvise a plan from there? How do they react in these scenarios? Are they super picky? Are they very snooty? They're like, oh, did you bring a car? And you're like, I don't own a car in this economy. And they're like, you can't even afford a car if you're poor, then just say so. Why the fuck would you want to be there, you know? Like, fuck that shit, I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with that bullshit. Nah, bitch. Nah, imagine owning a car in this economy. Like, we got buses and trains and shit, bro. Fuck that shit. I don't own a car, personally speaking. But that's only because, one, my apartment doesn't allow us to have cars. But two, I live in a city that is very, very good with public transit. They're not great, but it's definitely not bad. You can definitely get around easily here. So for me, it's like I just have no use for a car. But even owning a car, owning a car is expensive as fuck, man. It's like you gotta pay for your rent. 
and then you have so many goddamn car expenses that you might as well just be paying double your rent like fuck that like why would i want to do that but anyways i'm getting sidetracked the point is cafe dates are s tier movie dates are actually a tier but only if you have a movie you actually wanted to go watch and then if there's a movie that you didn't want to go watch and you're going anyways for the movie date that's bullshit don't do that shit that you're you're shooting yourself in the foot i think low-key i might actually think about going to movie dates low-key i'm thinking about it because i've never done it before on a first date never in my life would i ever think to do a movie date but the fact that it gives you a thing to talk about and you get to share an experience together off rip not bad and it sets a precedent you know it sets a fucking precedent you think about that shit hey nef next time you know when we catch a movie we could do it at my place oh god diggity damn dog dude my goodness i'm cooking heat today i'm never gonna use that shit i'm never gonna use that line but you know somebody out there might damn damn bro i'm cooking today <laughs> i'm fucking cooking no nah, but for real though like okay movie dates okay i'm actually convinced movie dates are low-key like a plus tier assuming that you have like somewhere to eat afterwards cinema better be close to some good ass bus and food because like you're gonna have shit to talk about after you know oh my god and imagine imagine going on a movie date and then it's a sad scene emotional emotional, emotional damage, damage. You know, that kind of an emotional scene literally like your fucking insides are just turning in and out and flipping upside down because it's such an emotional scene right and you are there like you're on the verge of tears and you're about to cry you know and you look over to your date and you see her or him whatever whichever way you swing and you just see them and they're just stoic they just look at it they're staring at it just like that's fishy i don't think i like that very much that's we don't like that that's too where's your emotion right or maybe they have very bad listening comprehension and visual comprehension skills like maybe that's why they don't really they just don't maybe they just get it you know maybe it hasn't hit them yet but like and um, if you're if there's an emotional scene and the other person is not there like about to cry or even crying like just a little bit that's a good litmus test like sure like you can take them to a horror movie like the fucking cliche in it oh i'm so scared and they're like holding you or whatever but like take them to like an emotional movie take them to some shit that's gonna make you cry a little bit test the waters a little bit see the depth of the range of their emotions right their emotional capacity and what that is that's some real shit movie dates i'm convinced i somehow within the span of like 10 minutes convinced myself completely that movie dates are like the way to go now they're low-key like slept on as fuck it's actually like insane it's actually kind of crazy i'm cooking right now my god i might make a tiktok about this holy shit coffee dates s tier cost efficient time efficient super good you gotta know everything just, just based off the coffee order you know so much. like what kind of coffee they like do they like lattes do they like americanos a macchiato what, what do they fuck with do they like, do they put in a shitload of additives or whatever into their coffee do they ask for like 10 different modifications and then they get really pissy if one of those things isn't correct are they an oat milk enjoyer or are they a soy boy like what's going on here do they drink two percent like we need answers here right you know this, this, there are things that matter here do they order a large or do they order a small large they're probably they could probably got a lot going on in their life right they need that coffee if they order a small maybe they're just not an avid coffee drinker maybe they're fucking boring you ever thought of that coffee by the way coffee is a connoisseur it is the artisan's drink it is the drink of artists all right drink of those who are culturally aware and appreciative Oh, sorry, I drink tea. Oh, I don't really drink coffee. I drink water. Tea's... What the fuck? Tea's costing. Like, ugh. I'm, I mean, I'm clearly joking, but like still, like, you know what I mean though. Like, you can tell a lot just based off what they order and the based off the way that they treat the people who work there and shit. Bing, bop, boop, you know so much info off rip. Coffee dates are fucking superior in terms of time and money, but the movie dates. There's so much to learn. There's so much to know, right? Do they go to the bathroom right before the movie are they smart about it what if they went to the bathroom in the middle of the movie what does that tell you about that person poor planner not very good at seeing too far into the future also just not very smart in general like obviously if you if there's previews are going you're kind of like dude i mean i don't really have to pee but i kind of have to pee just get that figured out figure that shit out if you're trying to get freaky into theaters too you want to maybe freshen up a little bit you shouldn't do that because that's public indecency and like if it's a crowded theater, that's very concerning that you would even consider doing something like that. I mean, no no judgment though. Like that's, you know, I'm just thinking about the people around you and their well-being. I don't want to be watching fucking everything everywhere all at once and I just hear like, 
you know, going on next to me. That's that's not something that I want to hear, right? But anyways, teach their own. If that's something that you're into, then, you know, go to you. I ain't gonna stop you. What am I, the fucking movie police? Like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Honestly, if I was actually watching a movie and there was a couple next to me that was just getting it on, like, quite honestly, I have double entertainment. I got a fucking big ass movie going on and I got porn going on right next to me on the left. I'm getting a lot of value out of my movie tickets. <laughs> All right, but the point is, listen, at the end of the day, just don't go on an aquarium date. An aquarium date sucks. Don't listen to me. I don't have good advice. I am. No, do listen to me. Don't. What? No. You shouldn't listen to me. Not for dating advice. I don't, I don't have Riz. I have L Riz. I don't, I don't, I don't even want to try to pretend I have Riz. I don't fucking have Riz. I just make content and I hope people find me. Like, like that's all I fucking got, bro. That's all I fucking got.